Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Um, now this is the first time I've ever been able to see in the flesh flowers on a star fruit plant. So I thought I'd come out and just show the uh, flower buds on them. This is outside. The plant itself is actually quite Surprising, the plant's quite sickly, so this is probably stress flowering. It's died back, uh, died back about, I've lost two feet off the top of the plant. I suspect that the, I may have over watered it and it's got a bit waterlogged in the soil, but the lower portions of the plant seem to be starting to recover now possibly because they're out of the wind as well and protected from the sun and it's decided to throw out some flowers for me for the first time ever um, pretty little sort of pink flowers now I've seen them in videos elsewhere but obviously never seen them on my own plant in the UK so it's quite exciting to uh, to see them so star fruit this is uh, uh, carambola um, it is a grafted plant Unfortunately, no name given for the variety. Typical, probably Dutch growing. Um, although they go to the trouble of grafting them, they can't be bothered to tell you what the variety is. I'm hoping it's not going to die back any further. I haven't been watering it because I'm hoping the roots will dry out and it'll recover. Um, but this is almost certainly stress flowering, and I wouldn't expect any fruits to set. And even if they do, I probably won't leave them because I'd rather the plant survive than. Uh, than get fruits on it which might be tiny and not worth eating anyway. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to keep it alive but I'm certainly not planning to water it at the time for the time being. And um, while it's putting out new growth and flowers it means that the roots hopefully aren't deteriorating any worse. I thought it'd be interesting to show that on video. Um, we're in the latter part of July here and we've just had some particularly hot weather with UK um, record temperatures i did have a, a, a sort of a big sunshade up covering a lot of these plants on my deck area but unfortunately it broke uh, yesterday so i'm gonna have to see if i can get it repaired because i don't want to be investing in a new parasol because they're extremely expensive here for a large size one but i thought i'd make the most of it in case these flowers get burnt off by any more hot weather we get and show my starfruit flowers here in the UK. Um, not in a greenhouse outside, although of course it does come into the house in winter to protect it. Maybe if the if any fruit set, I might just let one hang on it just to see what size it gets to, but that will depend on the health of the plant and if it carries on recovering, because they're prone to too much heat, too much cold, wind damage in particular causes them a lot of problems. But as I said, it's um, the, the flowers have been sort of opening. They don't seem to open any more than that. Maybe that's as much as they open. Don't know much about them. I'm certainly not bothering to try and hand pollinate them. I'll just leave them to their devices and see what happens. But nevertheless, it's very exciting to see flowers the first time in person on any star fruit because I've never seen one growing in another country either, although I've watched plenty of videos. So thank you for watching the video, much appreciate it, thumbs up, welcome to share it, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this or any other plants I'm growing, and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to get updates on new videos when they come out. I'll catch up with you all soon, Brett out for now.